Just give me a bag, I'll make you a million, I promise I'll do it myself I'm setting the bar so high, you can't even reach over the shelf You don't know what I dealt with, dawg, I was spraying that I wouldn't fail You don't know what I dealt with, dawg, I was spraying that I would prevail They was towing them two leaves, I was riding with my foolies, yeah Hey, 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 everyone. Y'all know those McCall patterns just dropped and they are fabulous. So we go go ahead and not waste much time. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. We made a plan and then we dropped it, yeah How to pay my dues to get some back and split the profit, yeah Lots Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs And in this video, I'm gonna keep this video short, sweet, and to the point Cause guess what y'all? I gotta do this on my lunch break and I don't have much time left. So we gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point so I can edit this video right when I get home. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, chao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, some banani, salon, majur, tarve. If you are returning, y'all know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, notebook. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and get into this video because we wanna keep this short, sweet, and to the point but give you all the news that you can use on this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so you guys know that Simplicity, McCall's, and Know Me dropped like today, January 5th, 2024. And by no means, I was gonna do all of the brands and everything to give you guys all the news that you need to use. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna say, I look to see if these patterns are similar to the other ones. Let's go ahead and do a round of applause cause they are not. <laughs> so there's no comparison. Well, there are like two patterns that's a comparison, but most of them don't look like anything else that I have seen. If you think that it looks like a pattern that you have seen, drop it in the comments. Uh, section below as well. But let's go ahead and get into the first one. All of these are McCall's, so I'm just gonna say McCall's one time and then say the pattern number. First one is McCall's 8446, which is Brandy Jones pattern. Now this is a bias cut special occasion dress by Brandy Jones. So it has the side ruching, it has the cowl neck, and it has a high slit. Now this is an average to sew pattern in terms of pattern sizing. 4 to 12 and 14 to 22. Now this pattern is just kind of like the only thing in the pattern. So there's not like a view A or view B or view C or anything like that. It's you get what you get in the pattern, all right? You get what you get and don't throw a fit, all right? No, I'm just joking. But <laughs> this is an average to show pattern. I like this pattern. Now for this pattern, it is a sexy dress. You can use, in terms of fabric, Shally, Shea Muse, uh, Crepe, Stable Knit, just to name a few. You will need a little bit of interfacing, but if you're gonna use knit, make sure you use knit interfacing. Okay, let's talk about it, all right? So I like this dress by Brandy Jones. I will be picking this pattern up, okay? Moving over to the next one is another Brandy Jones pattern. It is 8447, which is basically a oversized sweat uh, pattern by Brandy Jones. It have like the knit top with the drop shoulders, long sleeves as well. Now, don't forget if you look at the line art, the top has top stitching on the sleeves and the hem band as well. Now, you in view B, you have drawstring pants that have the side pockets, pin tucks in the center front. That's what you're looking at on the front por portion of view B. That is pin tucks, okay? So it has some pin tucks there as well. It is an average to sew pattern. Um, now this one comes in letter sizing, extra small to extra large, okay? Once again, extra small to extra large. So it doesn't have 2XL or anything like that. So size inclusive, not so much, but you know, if you are one who can size the pattern up, you will be good to go. Let's talk about fabric. So in terms of fabric, you need knits, of course. Your French terry, your cotton knits, ponty knits, um, scuba knits will be okay to use. Sweatshirt fleece, just to name a few of the fabrics that you will need. One thing I wanna mention, because this is a knit top and pants set, make sure you use a knit needle or a twin needle. Once again, knit needle or twin needle. Stop using woven needles for these knit projects, okay? Label your machine, label your needles. Thank me later. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is a favorite one that I was like, heck to the yes. Okay, 
It's $84.48. It's a knit dress with sleeve variation. So this knit dress has like a diagonal seaming allow, uh, which allows for like stripes and color blocking and all that good stuff. Now, what I like about this dress is actually what the model have on is view C. Now, you know, it does have the stripes going on. I think she looks gorgeous in that. However, I do like the color block on view B. Um, and I just like that asymmetrical hill hem line, the long bell sleeves and all that good stuff. Now, view A have the sleeveless option. If you are a, you know, sleeveless option person, you guys know I like sleeves on my stuff. I don't do too much with no sleeve or sleeveless and have to add that bias tape. I just prefer some sleeves on my garments. That's just me though. But let's talk about sizing. 8 to 16 on the first pattern and 18 to 26 on the second pattern. Now, you guys, this is an easy, I mean easy to sew pattern. So let's get with it, all right? I want to see this dress sewn up in so many occasions, okay? Let's talk about fabric. I already talked about it. But you will need knit fabric, cotton knit, interlock, jersey knit, just to name a few. Now, if you're doing view C, which is the striped, make sure you cut the striped on the crosswise grain, okay? Instead of the grain line, you want the crosswise grain, all right? Crosswise grain. You get what I'm saying. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. The next pattern is 8449, which is a Mrs. Dress and sash. So this dress is just your a regular pullover dress that have a placket. You know, it's kind of have that half placket. Now you guys know I did a dress similar to this, which is Simplicity 9744. I did a sew along for it. So if you're having issues with doing placket, you could go to that video and see it. I'll drop it in the description box below as well as on the end screen as well. Now this dress does have a collar sleeve length variation. Your view C has that front button on the placket and then it also has the sash which is included with view b and c but if you want the sash for view a you can do that as well all right now one thing i will mention about view b view b just have the placket it doesn't look like it's concealed or anything but view c does have the placket where it shows the front buttons on that placket all right so in terms of sizing as 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on that second one like I mentioned, it is an average to sew and you can use any fabric of your choosing, whether that's chalet, cotton, blends, um, linen, poplin, just to name a few of those as well. Once again, it's $84.49. Moving over to the next one is $84.50 and this is like a woman's dress, jumpsuit, and an over skirt. Now for me, I like it for the jumpsuit, even though you guys know like we ain't wearing no jumpsuits to work for the bathroom situation, but I can see myself actually making the dress and making the jumpsuit as well. Now the overskirt is cute on the model. Would I make the overskirt? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know to be honest with you, but this is basically a special occasion dress or jumpsuit and it can be worn with the detachable overskirt. That is optional, optional train, whatever you wanna call it. One thing I like about this pattern is it has separate cup sizing. So it goes A, B on the, you know, the cup sizes is A, B, then you have your C, D, and double D for the woman's uh, size range, okay? This woman's size range is the double D. So in terms of sizing for the pattern, it's 10 to 18, and then 20W to 28W. In terms of fabric, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing. Don't sleep on the fabric, but I would say you want to use kind of like a shang tong or a satin satin fabric. You can use novelty fabrics as well. Now, in terms of like view A with that lace, you can use lace sequin, sheer fabric, whatnot. Um, but you can use whatever you want, just to be honest with you. But once again, this is $84.50. Moving over to the next one is the Mrs. Top, which is $84.51. Now, this top is more like a classic vest style button down shirt or button front top, right? Um, it has many different sleeve options. You have your short sleeves, your long sleeves, whatnot. View B has that notched collar in view B, which is, you know, kind of like a uh, notched collar, which looks like a stand up collar, okay? I like that detail for sure. I do like what the model's wearing, which is view B. Now view B and C also have ties at the back of the vest or top, whatever you want to call it. And this one also has separate 
uh, cup sizes as well. A and B, then you have your C, D, and D cup as well. So it doesn't go to double D. This one stop at D cup as well. Now for me, I think for this uh, top, I will do two separate views. I am interested in doing view B, but do the sleeves of view C, and then also do view A as well for this top. In terms of sizing eight to 16 and then 18 to 26, in terms of fabric, of course, you can use any type of fabric. You know, you can use chalet, cotton, gingham, linen, just to name a few. It is an average to sew pattern, so just make sure you know that as well. Moving over to the next one is 8454, which is a Mrs. Romper, which is basically a wrap front romper with a sleeve, collar, pocket variation. Now, this one has shorts with a hit in front zipper, and then you have three different skirt styles to go with that wrap in the front. It is an average to sew pattern. I am here for view C and view B on this pattern, but this one, I wanna say it is not size inclusive, just to give you that. So the pattern sizing is four to 12 and then 14 to 22 on the second envelope. So if you normally pick up a 24 or 26, this would not be size inclusive, but you can pick up the bigger range and then size it up. Do not sleep on patterns because you know, it doesn't have your size, just size some patterns up and call it a day. All right. Now in terms of fabric, cotton blends, crepe, poplin, stretch woven, just to name a few of the fabrics that you will need for this pattern. Once again, it's 8454. Moving over to the next one. Now I know people made new year's resolutions to lose weight and you can get cute while doing it, okay? This is a knit top and legging set. So this would be a great gym workout style. I mean like, who does who don't wanna make gym clothes and then be cute while working out in your me made? Okay, like, let's be real. But this one right here is a crop knit top. Now, before we even get into this whole crop situation, you can definitely extend it, <laughs> you know what I mean? So even though it's a crop knit top, you can definitely extend that top and make it, you know, what you want it to be. Um, it features short and long sleeves. The legging has two lengths with seaming details. Seaming details just mean like top stitching and all that good stuff. And also it features a color block. Now I wanna talk about the leggings right quick. So view D is the leggings that have the front leg slit. Now. This, the leggings remind me of that new look pattern. I think it's new look 6471, which I will go ahead and put up for you to see it. Now, I'm not saying in terms of the, the uh, opening, like the slit in the front, I'm saying that the shaping reminds me of that pattern, okay? So I'll put it up so you're able to see it as well, all right? But once again, it's 84.55, and because it's knit top and leggings, you're going to need some knit fabric, all right? Moving over to the next one is a Mrs. and Woman knit top, shorts, and pant pattern. This is an easy to sew pattern, okay? So it's, what, what, what is the skill level? <laughs> easy to sew, boo boo. Now, this one features like a sleeveless or a long sleeve top. So view A is your sleeveless, view B is your long sleeve top that have like that turtleneck and it pairs well with the pull on knit shorts or the culottes or pants that you have. Now, the waistband on these pants are wide. So you have that wide waistband, and then you have some seaming details as well as optional front patch pockets. Now, I'm sorry, view D is where that patch pocket is. I don't want that detail. So for me, I think I would do view B, C, and view E in this on this pattern. View A is cute too, so you know, you could definitely niche and match if you just pair it with different fabrics and colors as well, all right? Now in terms of sizing, it's 10 to 18 on the first envelope, and then the woman sizes is 20W to 28W, and 30W to 38W, so very size inclusive on this pattern. And in terms of fabric, you're just gonna need some knit fabric like I have mentioned already, all right? Moving over to the next one is 84.50, seven and this is a jumpsuit and sash pattern now this one right here comes in small to extra extra large the letter sizing all right so it's basically just a loose fitting easy to sew jumpsuit 
Yep, it's easy to sew. All right. So this, the jumpsuit has like front buttons. You can't see it from what the model is wearing, but you can see it down the front. And I want to say that it features different variations. All right. So it has sleeve variation. It has uh, side pockets and you can wear it with or without the sash. Now, view a reminds me of a pattern that I made a so and I did a sew along for it, except for the fact that it has buttons down the front. That pattern is Simplicity 9450, I think it's 9451. I'm going to go ahead and put it up because I can't remember that numbers right off the back, right off the back. But another thing I want to mention is I did a dress that was similar to this, but I know Brittany J. Jones did a pattern that features kind of like the same situation, but without the button closure for that. All right. So it is similar to a few patterns without that button detail, but I like it and I'm still going to pick it up. Once again, it's 8457. Moving over to the next one. Y'all know I'm a sucker for cargo pants. So when I seen this, I was like, heck yeah. Uh, it's a unisex pull on shorts or pants, cargo pants. All right. So basically what this is, is Mrs. and men's white leg cargo pants. It has the, and the short has the shorts have elastic and draw string waist and pocket variations. Now view B has the elastic cord at the hem. It is optional if you do not want that detail. This is an average to sew pattern. What I am here for is view B to be honest with you with the cording. However, view C is just a pair of drawstring pants. So if you just want to do view C, that is completely up to you. However, I plan on doing both view B and view C to have two pairs of pants from the same pattern. Now this pattern, in terms of sizing, this pattern comes in extra small to extra, extra large. And then you can also use whatever fabric that you want. Just to name a few, chambray, cotton, blends, uh, twill, rib stop, nylon, just to name a few for this pattern. Once again, it's 84.58. Moving over to the next one. Now, this one is a copy of a previous pattern that I know I have seen. This pattern is 84.59. All right, so it's a fitted bowly shirt, have notch collar, short sleeves, wedge sleeve bands, and a front button closure. View A and view C have that contrast hem. It is an average to sew pattern in terms of sizing for the men. It's 34 to to 42 and 44 to 52. Now I'm just gonna say this, I will not be picking up this pattern, but I wanted to mention this because if you are picking this up for yourself or picking it up for you know your partner or a guy, I wanna hit you up with something. This is the exact same pattern as McCall 7206. And the reason why I know that is because Norris did this pattern as a bowling shirt a couple of years ago, okay? I wanna say in 2017, 2018, he actually did an entire sew along for this pattern. So if you have McCall 7206, I would say 86, <laughs> pick it up 84.59. But if you don't have McCall 7206, go ahead and pick it up. Thank me later, all right? Moving over to the next pattern. Oh, in terms of fabric, any fabric of your choosing, all right? Moving over to the next one, we're not gonna spend too much time on these kids' patterns, but it's from our daughter and it's 8462. One thing with this one, it's basically a utility outfit. You have your romper, your button down shirt, shorts, pants, you have all of that um, as well. She likes this pattern. I'm not spending a lot of time on kids' patterns, but I'm picking this pattern up for her. Once again, it's 8462. Next pattern, back over to the adults pattern, it's 8463, which is a Laura Ashley pattern. Now I know a lot of people who love Laura Ashley gets offended when I say this, but this pattern is a, as it states, authentic vintage reproduction pattern. Now for this one, I did my research and the uh, old pattern is 8439, McCall's 8439. It is a really tarnished pattern that, you know, is in a old <laughs> pattern envelope. So I already seen this pattern, 8439. I'm not gonna put it up on the screen simply because it's pretty difficult to find that actually looks really good. But this is a blouse, vest, skirt, and petticoat pattern. Like I mentioned, it's reissued from 1980s. I like the fact that, you know, the skirt has, you know, 
tuck front, button front opening and all that good, t- good detail. Now I'm going to be 100% honest. I am not picking this pattern up because if I pick this pattern up, it would only be for the vest. And I have other patterns that I can hack like a top pattern and make it a vest. So I will not be picking this up for myself, but I think that this pattern is a super cute pattern. And I feel that you know, if you're into like tucks in the front of your skirt and petticoat and all that good stuff, definitely go ahead and pick it up. You know, I, I think this would be a cute pattern for you. In terms of pattern sizing, and this is another reason is because this pattern may not fit my hips for the skirt. It only comes in one envelope, eight to 16, and that's it. So I don't feel... I mean, I would have to size it up if I wanted this pattern, but even in the vest and top, I would definitely need probably an 18. Looking, let's look at the back of the envelope, which is the, um, you know, the fabric option. So looking at the finished garment measurement, this pattern states that it goes all the way up to 47 and a half. For me, I would need a 43 and a half, which is a size 12 for the bus. Um, not terribly bad, but you know, you always got to at least measure your pattern pieces. So we would see if a 12 would be idle for what I need. Mm, I'm on the fence, but I probably still will not pick it up. All right, but let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 8464, another Laura Ashley pattern. And this one actually extends the sizes a little bit more. It is an average to sew pattern where you get a 1980s jacket and dress pattern by Laura Ashley. Now this pattern is a reissue pattern of McCall's 2965 for this one as well. I'm not going to put that pattern up on the screen simply because it's difficult to kind of put the picture up of a photo that looks really good to show you guys. But you could definitely Google McCall's 2965 for that pattern as well. All right. In terms of pattern sizing, 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the second envelope. Um, in terms of like the fabric, you will definitely need like cotton fabric. Um, you can use broadcloth fabric. You can use uh, PK fabric, fabric, sheer sucker, just to name a few of the different fabrics that you can use. But once again, it's 8464, which is a Laura Ashley pattern. All right. Next pattern is another vintage 1970 pattern. I am not going to be picking this up. Um, and the reason why I'm not going to pick it up is because I really do not see myself literally making this pattern at all. So I will not be picking it up, but I figured to share this with you. Um, now, one th and let me, let me rephrase that. I am going to be picking it up. I thought about not picking it up, but I am going to pick it up because it does feature a pair of throw on pants. That's probably two or three pattern pieces. Um, and it also feature a pair of panties. Okay. <laughs> so I'm picking it up for that, but the, uh, tunic and the dress, not so much. Okay. That's just not my vibe on those, but if it's your vibe, by all means, pick this pattern up. All right. But what you have here is a dress, a tunic and a pant pattern. The view A and view B have that back zipper for the dress and the tunic. It also features puff sleeves. I don't like those, but you know, hey, if you like it, by all means, pick this pattern up, right? Um, it also has like short sleeves, have that elastic casing as well. Long sleeve have the elastic in the upper and the lower casing. And then you have pants that are elasticated as well as the panties, okay? So everything is elastic and elastic based on this pattern. Love it, love it, love it. In terms of sizing, it's 4 to 12 and then 14 to 22 on the second envelope. You can use whatever fabric of your choosing for this pattern. Dotted switch, Swiss. Um, you can use wool. You can use synthetic jersey. You can use chalet. Just to name a few of the fabrics that you can use. But once again, it's 84.65. Next pattern that I will not be picking up is 8466 and it's a slip dress. Once again, the reason why I'm showing you this is because some of you may need some slip dress patterns because if you looked at one of my builder wardrobe, it talked about a slip dress. So here is a pattern that you can do. Write it down if you've been keeping up with any of those wardrobe builders where you could get you a slip dress. Easy to sew slip dress at that. 
So yeah, write this pattern down. Once again, it's 8466. In terms of sizing, it's eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the second envelope. And you can use whatever fabric of your choosing in order to get that slip dress and that sheer over dress, all right? But I'm really telling you guys this for the slip dress, all right? Now I will not be picking up because I have tons of slip dress patterns in my wardrobe and I don't need another one, all right? Let's talk about the last two patterns. This one is 8467, which is a bag pattern. It's average to sew. Now, the reason why I want this one is because I like view A, but I also like view D on this pattern, all right? View C and D, right? So view A and view B have the flap closure and, and adjustable shoulder strap. And then view B is more like a back pocket style pattern or kind of like your tote bag right so I like the fact I like this I love it I love it I love it um I like the different textures that it has it has the faux leather as uh handles and outside front pockets for view c and view d so I like that detail on this pattern it's a one size fit all because it's a bag pattern you don't have to measure anything okay but you can use whatever style fabric of your choosing, cotton, denim, um, home decor fabric. And then, you know, for contrast, you can use faux leather, faux suede, just to name a few. But make sure you know that you're, instead of using fusible interfacing, you will be using fusible fleece to go in your bag. And I have a whole freaking series on Vlogmas, how I did a couple of bags as well. I will link that on the end screen and in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and get over to the last pattern, which is a pair of what? Scrubs. It is a pair of scrubs. So for this pattern as a pair of scrubs, it is a zip front jacket and vest, and then it, that have princess scenes um, interior and interior pockets, interior and exterior pockets. The exterior side pockets have the invisible zipper. Um, and another thing is like the slim leg pants that have, they have the um, elastic waistband patch pockets and ankle slits as well. I like, you know, I really like this pattern with the scrub simply because it's like the hidden pockets on the inside is like, everything that you want okay you can put your cell phone there if you're a healthcare if you're in the healthcare industry this pattern is definitely i mean definitely for you in terms of um fabric sizing i'm sorry in terms of sizing it's letter sizes extra small to extra extra large in terms of fabric you need knit you can use fleece as well french terry fleece regular fleece um ponte Ponte knit, sweatshirt fleece, just to name a few. For contrast, you will need some cotton fabric, okay? So just make sure you, you're mindful of the fabric that you choose. I mentioned it is an average to sew pattern as well. All right, well, those are all the McCall patterns. I think this is a decent, nice collection, um, this early spring collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, keep so Friends just like my sins, they all forgotten, no. Cause they started folding like them blue bills in my wallet, yeah. Okay, can't complain when it comes with pain, I've been through it. They don't understand for me to die is gain, I ain't losing.